Hey guys, so uh, hold on. Turn music down. Okay, so I got requested, or someone requested to, uh, sorry, it's really dark. Uh, let's see if this light works. To help, okay, but it helps a little bit. Okay, but someone um, wanted to know, wanted me to make a video on all my attack for all my horses. So, back here is all my hooks. Carmen just came in here. So, right now we're on the uh, attack room of my trailer. So, so we're going to start with this hook here. This is Bo's hook. Bo has all the green. So, first we have, on Bo's hook, we have his bridle, which he uses a little less hackamore. I bought this bridle, not the, yeah, I bought the bridle and the reins from a crazy cowgirl shop on Facebook. I love her stuff, and it came with a matching French set, which is also on here, his French breast collar. And then, since it is a hackamore, and hackamores don't go in the mouth, when I ran him on poles, he figured out a trick to shake his head and the bridle come off, so I put this hay string on there for right now, until uh, I get my chin strap made. And then, also on this hook, we have his matching green French breast collar set. So, yeah. And then we have ah, we have both green rope halter, the lead rope, duh. And it's from Spur Life. I got it off the Instagram Spur Life page. Yeah. And then we've got this black and green lead rope. Nothing important about lead rope. And then to go along with all his green French set, it came with this matching rock halter. So, that's all Bo's tack on his hook. Uh, you, he uses, uh, on the Bronc Halter, the black one, he's getting his nameplate made for that one. Because Lacey has a nameplate for hers. So, he's going to get one for his. Because he's my radio horse. And then, I'm going to show you the saddles last. But, I'll just close them down. And this is Bo's saddle. Or the one I use on spare horses. But this is Bo's because it's got the smallest tree. And since he's only three years old, he's still very small. And then... Ah! Okay, y'all have already seen the bell boots. Bo has matching green bell boots and sweat boots. Okay, this next hook is Lacey's. I'm going to start with her stuff on her saddle. This is her plain leather tie-down. Does that like work? No, messed up. There it is. It's her leather tie down, just dark leather. And then we have her Rebel Flag bridle, which was also purchased from Crazy Cowgirl. And her O ring snaffle bit with copper on the inside. Duh. That's her bridle. And then we have her, also has the matching Rebel Flag breast collar. And then this right here, my mom made. It's a leather tie down halter with a concho on a hook. So, and then we have her pro rider saddle. She won for me. It, we actually won 2014, not 2013, so they just messed up the fenders. But we won that at a 12-week barrel series that went on through the whole summer, every Tuesday night. So now we're going to go to her hook. She has her, well, I'll, okay, we'll start with this. This is her front culture. Ah! It has the praying cowboy. And then it has her nameplate. Oh, Karma, stop that. Okay. That has her nameplate, Lacey. Because she's special. Y'all should know Lacey's special. I don't make many videos of her, but she is the real deal. Then we have our her blue fringe breast collar, which is also purchased from Crazy Cowgirl Shop. And then we have the matching bridle. Also, also purchased from Crazy Cowgirl Shop, and it has a fancy snap of it. And then this is also a rather tie down bus brooch that I'm gonna show y'all. And then we have her necklace that she wears for uh, when she's being just like an ambassador horse or something, or to look pretty, or fishers. It's her necklace. Uh, my mom made those, so if you want one of those necklaces made, I mean, you can buy them. They're also called rhythm beads if you purchase them offline. But my mom makes them to look pretty, not for rhythm beads, so, yeah. Ugh. Okay, this next hook, this is my miscellaneous hook right now since I don't have a, uh, a fourth big horse at the moment, so. Mm. So first on it, we have 
the breast collar I use on Lacey when I work her at home. It's just, oh, it's really dark. It's just plain, slight leather. I use this one at home so it doesn't get her good ones dirty. Because she, I don't know what to do. Then I have Lacey's rope and bridle. It's, yeah, it's Lacey's rope and bridle. And she uses a Pelham bit. I think it's a Pelham bit. Is that Pelham? I'm sure she has Pelham. I believe so. And I use this on Lacey for roping because she don't like shank bits and snaffle something she'll really go in. So I have her in this one. It isn't a Pelham. Please inform what this is. I, uh, I had it in my trailer and I put it in her at the roping pit and it just worked amazing. So it's really dark. I'm sorry this video is so dark. So it's, I just had nowhere else to take this video out. Okay, then we have her rope and tie down. It's really plain, it's kind of crappy tie down. Yeah, got this one. And then I have, if y'all remember Dixie Mae, my amazing pole horse. This was her bronc halter, but now it's just a miscellaneous one. And then I have this bridle, which has, which I use kind of on Dixie. Take the reins off of it. Also, I have so many pairs of reins, now you're real. I have this head saw. I don't know what brand head saw says. I, I got it with a bit. And it has the Sherry Sherby gag bit. So, I love this bit when it shoots on the proper horse, the dog bone one. Yeah, and then I have three sets of reins hanging here, too. Y'all need to see reins. Hopefully, y'all do. And then we'll move on to Sierra's hook. Oh, it's just too much. Okay. So, on Sierra's hook, we have a bride gel our bridle. We switched the reins on this one a lot because it's either the long one with these for ripping either go on this one or another. And this is Sierra's bit. I know most y'all probably about to hate on this bit, but this is what Sierra's always been ridden in. It does have broken points. This is a gated bit and I've tried to convert her to a snaffle. I've tried to convert her to a hackamore. She will not go no matter how many days you work on her. This is the only bit that'll make this horse stop. So this is a bit I like try to work her in and I try to chill ride her in this bit to get her used to it and she will not take to this bit and it's the big mouth snaffle which makes make them soft but Sierra went taken to it and then I have her cute little lead rope shrine bow and then we have Sierra's rock halter and some pretty and then I got these uh, long bunch where I used to sit heads, but Sierra's has already set. And this is Sierra's rock halter. It's barely used because Sierra don't go many places with us. But that's the one she uses when she does go off to fancy places. So that is the uh, tack I use on my horses. I know it wasn't all glam and fabulous, but that is the tack. But I do have more tack. Um, I guess I could show y'all right quick. I'll just give y'all a quick, like, little tour. Where, okay. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. So, back there on this hook right here, this is my hook full of girths. I have this small girth, which I'm about to probably put on both. And then I have this humongous girth, which my friend, this was way too big for his horse. And I happen to have a girth that was just perfect size for him, so I just switch them. This is a weaver, so that's why I was happily able to switch. And I have these two. I have this really crappy one, this top one, and then I got this soft one right here. It's right here. Yeah. And I have all this for extra. In the back here, I have a rainbow halter. And then I have two extra lead ropes, uh, Maggie's mini blue halter. And then I have an extra bronc halter. And then I have Lacey's show halter, where she does halter classes. And then down here, I have my ropes. Ooh, can you see them? Yep, there's all my ropes. Uh, breakaway ropes still on my rope inside down there, which I'll get to in a second. So, um, also have whew, this extra truck right here, which I have my old goat string. I have a hackamore on here. I have some reins to go to the hackamore. And then a pretty uh, Western Pleasure bridle, which has a snap on that I use all I see sometimes. And then, side right. Then here's my saddles. It goes bows, lacy, and then down here's my roping saddle. I try to keep my trailer always. And then down here, 
for my rapid saddle. I have my goat string that I use all the time on here. And you can see I still have my breakaway string on here from where I was supposed to breakaway, but I didn't go. So, got my breakaway rope on here. This is the saddle that season Sierra. But it goes with all my horses. Can I use this on goat time for bow or lacy? Because I, I like the long stretch for goat time. So, yeah. So that's that saddle. And it's a J Black roping saddle. And that's a pro rider. And y'all can hate on me for my double T up here on bow. I know, like, most of y'all think they're, like, crappy quality. I enjoy my double T. It, I, my horse hasn't got no back sores. I haven't got sore. It was broken in really well, especially the stirrup lotion. I think I was going to say they're stiff. Mine aren't. So, it all depends. And, plus, it's not really, like, I bought it for an extra saddle uh, originally. Just have an extra one because I had so many people coming over to ride. And, y'all, most of you people are outrageous on, hey, go buy this Billy Cook or go buy this Circle Wide. I was crap. Hey, not all of us had that much money. Like, are you serious? I need to take this shirt to the house. I'm like, I ain't got the money for your stuff. So, it's like, whatever. So, yeah. But, that was my attack. Three people. So, I hope y'all like this video. And, um, you're currently, I have my thing currently sitting on top of all my saddle pads. Which... So I've had, if y'all want, yeah. But if you have any more specifically tours, y'all want to know a tour of the barn, tour of the pasture area, on my training skills, on how I train for poles and barrels and roping, how to goat tie, anything at all. Don't be afraid to ask, and I'll make a video for y'all. Thanks for watching this. Bye. Oh, wait, hold on. Come here. This is Karma. I don't know if y'all have ever seen her face. She's blonde in uh, this eye right here. Over here. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna go. Alright, bye guys.